it was crazy. We were biting our nails because people doubted us so much. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. First at six, it really was March Madness when South Carolina beat Duke last night in the NCAA tournament in Greenville. Yeah, some thought the Gamecocks had no chance. And when they won, the team, their fans, and the USC campus all went crazy. And it's not just the men's team. Yeah, the USC women's team also won yesterday, and they're also going to the Sweet 16. Our Robert Kittle was on campus today to show us how students are reacting to this really historic first for the school. When the USC men's basketball team was slamming Duke, it was making noise on the USC campus, too. Man, it was just a whole lot of stomping. You could hear it throughout the entire apartment complex. Everybody was freaking out. Every time there was a key play, it was just so much energy. I loved it. That led. <laughs> and while the team celebrated in the locker room, fans leaving the game cheered. Go Cox, baby! Go all the way! And students celebrated on the streets of Columbia. I was like FaceTiming all my friends and everyone was like cheering and yelling and Snapchatting and we, it was just like, it was like a party everywhere, like wherever anyone was. They would have celebrated anyway since it's the men's team's first ever trip to the Sweet 16. But on top of that, the women's team also made the Sweet 16 again. The girls have been doing it, so I think the fact that the guys are here as well, it's just, you know, bringing us all together. And the excitement will build all week until the next games. USC President Harris Pastides is calling for fans to give both teams a big send-off whenever they leave. The athletics department says there's nothing official planned yet. They are having a pep rally for both teams Tuesday night, and students have high hopes the teams will keep winning. I think the women's have a, they historically have had a better chance, but I have a lot of faith in the men's team to at least make it to the top four. I think we could go all the way. We beat Duke. And uh, hopefully we can make it past Elite Eight and uh, make it to the Final Four and bring home a championship for the first time. No telling how long that celebration would last. In Columbia, Robert Kittle, 7 News. This makes you happy looking at that. Well, the pep rally will be tomorrow night at 6 at the Freedom Plaza by the Colonial Life Arena in Columbia. The men will play Baylor Friday night at 7.30 in Madison Square Garden in New York. And the women play Saturday afternoon at uh, 4 o'clock in Stockton, California. And their opponent will be determined tonight.